Okay, so again, the mass of the solution is the 135 grams for the 135 milliliters of HI and 145 grams for the 145 milliliters of NaOH. The specific heat of the solution is the specific heat of the water, 4.184 joules per gram degree C. You can see that your grams units are going to cancel out really nicely. Your kilojoules and joules aren't going to work out so great unless we do a conversion, which is really simple for us to do. And we'll do it up on top and convert these kilojoules to joules. There are 1,000 joules in every kilojoule. And so our kilojoule units will cancel. Our joule units will cancel. And our answer will be left with units of degrees C, which is good because it is a temperature. So we're going to do 3.14 times 1,000 divided by 280 times 4.184. And that gives us a temperature change of 2.91 degrees C. Delta T, or delta anything, is final minus initial. Our change in temperature, 2.91 degrees C, then is equal to our unknown final temperature minus our initial temperature of 23.15 degrees C. And if we just do the really simple math there, we'll see that our final temperature is 26.06 degrees C. And that's it. And that's the end of section 6.5. Your study questions for this section are going to be, let's see... What is the relationship What is the relationship between Q reaction and Q cal? How do you calculate heat capacity? How do you calculate Q calorimeter? all equations that I need to have you memorize. The rest of the section looks to be like it was just worked out problems, so we won't write study questions for those. I do want you to take a couple minutes and summarize. Your summary is not going to be too big because most of the material in this section is just working out examples, but I do want to make sure that you really understand why the uh, negative, the Q of the reaction is the negative Q cal and vice versa. Make sure that you understand heat being lost is being absorbed, vice versa. And um, make sure that you make some flashcards to help you memorize these equations for your test.